She's been lost, but as Althea, she wants to know your story. Welcome, Maggie Briggs. She helped bring down the stadium. She killed Nick Clark, but she rescued John Dory Tatt from the flooded river. She plays Charlie, Alexa Licenson. You may know her as Dharma Finkelstein Montgomery, or remember her as Naomi and Laura, but we all now know her as Mrs. June Dory. He plays the pistol wielding gunslinger that can split a bullet on the axe. John Dory, like the fish, only I eat. <laughs> you know her from Mad TV, Arts and Recreation, and then Sarah from Get a Witness on Fear the Wild Dead. Let's stir some beef with no power. Being a savior really left the mark on this next guy. A man who shot Daryl Dixon and lived the town down. He played his wife, Austin Cecilia. Oh.
Mă uită să fie bun. I'm Randy from uh, Memphis, Tennessee, and my question is for all of you. Uh, Jenna, um, she, uh, I talked on the Talking Dead about the uh, the river and the leeches. Have y'all ever had any other uh, weird acts of nature? Yeah, that lightning storm. All the people that got unconscious that we can't talk about. <laughs> oh my gosh, when they were doing the flood, saying the lightning Ice storm, a couple snowstorms. When we were told it would never snow in Austin, don't worry. <laughs> that first episode of season four, we sh we shoot one half of the scene and then it snowed. We tried to shot the other half. I think we might shot it anyway. Sure. It's kind of cool. We shoot, you know, like about anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour outside of Austin proper on any given day in any given direction. And the weather is actually quite dynamic and beautiful. The problem is there's no pool, which is good. That if there's lightning within a certain amount of miles, you have to wait an hour. Everyone has to go inside to shelter. Every crew member, and that's like about 100 or more people every day. It is the cranes, right? Or it's getting hit by lightning. But, <laughs> but yeah, I guess if there's a crane out, but I don't know. But anyway, so like, you know, lightning, and we already barely make our days. Like, we do so, it goes so much goes into making one episode. In eight days, we barely get it as it is. And so then if like 25 minutes later, there's another piece of lightning, then we have to wait another hour. So those, while well, they're beautiful, you know, it's kind of like a Mother Nature art show. But it does give a lot of stress to the line producer who's trying to make the day schedule. Take some time the box stuff. To Gary and Jenna, I had a question. Um, the chemistry between you two is so incredible. And to me, you've passed Maggie and Glenn's, like, a couple of them. Ooh! Some words. But you've passed that. When did you find out that there, did you know when you signed on that there would be a relationship right away? I had no idea. And the other thing, chemistry, do you, is that something you think you just have or you don't have? Or is that something that can be active? Uh, 
Uh, I, I hope so. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm still in the dark about what the new season holds, but I'm, I'm excited about it. My name is Rob from Temple, Texas. About an hour and north of where you guys are filming. And uh, first off, I just want to say, as fans of the show and fans of your characters, I hope all of us uh, research you guys as actors and actresses to find out more of the work you've done to become fans of you and your job. Check out Dylan Hunt on uh, Amazon Prime on Hand of God. That was awesome. Um, but the question is, I know on the flagship show, The Walking Dead, they've developed some traditions for characters that leave the show, or maybe traditions for characters that come onto the show. Is there any kind of traditions that you guys have started there for y'all show for your characters as they come to go in that universe? I'm slight. Unless we had time for dead dinners, on this show we, we ain't got time for a dead dinner. I wish, you know, especially if there's a couple people that left the season, you know. But you know what we should extend is that beautiful uh, eulogy chorus we did for Tom. That's my ringtone. And he has and a he's ringtone. Tom, so it's my ringtone. Oh yeah, Tom Tom. Thank you very much. Thanks for the reminder that we need to establish a tradition. <laughs> we really do. We, we're not doing a disservice to find people that we can come and go. Yeah, that's great work. So that's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we really like. We hug. We hug. We all hug them. Is that a tradition? Thank you, folks. The last three questions here. Uh, my name is Chris from Richmond, Virginia. Uh, it's for my question is for Garrett and Austin. If it ever came down to it, who do you think would win in a fight? Uh, John? Let's just see right now. Yeah. <laughs> a fist fight or a... Sorry? A fist fight or a... No. Yeah, let's, let's take the guns out. Oh, awesome. Take my ass. Oh, yeah. Well, you got two guns. Yeah, but he says, um... Yeah. Is this... What? What's happening? That's <laughs> right. Are you talking about the show? Like, Gary, what's the record? You would whoop my ass. <laughs> uh, our character, is a, he's got two guns. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a dead man. Thank you. I'm going to put I'm going to fight I'm going to fight Cooper. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.